Hello everyone. Today we will solve one more numerical based on the 2D transformation. So you can note down this question. Reflect the diamond shaped polygon whose vertices are P minus 1 0, Q 0 2, R 1 0, S 0 minus 2 about a line X is equal to 2. Okay. You can note down this question. Okay. Now see a polygon is given whose vertices are given right and it has to be reflected or mirror against a line x is equal to 2 okay first we will see on this graph how to plot this line remember x is equal to 2 means it is a vertical line passing through this x is equal to 2 so the line should be plotted here okay and it is not having slope it is a vertical line so we will see so this is a line okay it is exactly at this point whose equation is equal to x is equal to 2 ok now we will try to plot the next points so the point P is located at minus 1 0 right second point Q is located at 0 comma 2 third point R is located at 1 comma 0 and the next point is located at 0 minus 2 right so these are the locations of the vertices of the polygon so you can join them and this is how your diamond shaped polygon will look now you need to reflect these polygons against this line x is equal to 2 so the reflection of that will be plotted here right it will be reflected in this segment so you can see this is how the reflection of this polygon will look like against the line x is equal to 2 what is your task is to find out the coordinates of the new points okay by visually you can easily identify the uh, corresponding uh, locations of the polygon it is very easy to identify right now we will see how to do this using mathematical formula right so for that what is the first procedure the first point in this is to transfer this line x is equal to 2 to the origin right transfer this point x is equal to 2 to the origin for that we require the first matrix of translation okay so the first point is translate this line to the origin okay so in order to translate this point the distance between the y-axis and, uh, y and the line is equal to 2 right so we need to transfer it back by the minus 2 right so tx is equal to minus 2 and ty is equal to 0 because we will translate only in the x direction right so tx is equal to minus 2 and ty is equal to 0 right then do the reflection okay so we'll reflect uh, this polygons against the vertical axis right so suppose if we have got one point here right and I want to do the reflection against this y axis. So the reflection of that will be somewhere here, right? So as you can see, there is no change in the y coordinate. Only there is a change in the x coordinate. Means the x is negative, say negative maybe 5 here, and here x is positive 5. Okay? So only change is the x axis. So here we can say this is the only change here means here it becomes minus 1 and here it becomes positive 1 okay. so second step is to do the mirror operation mirror it against y okay then third operation translate translate it back to original location translate this thing back to the original location so again we require a translation matrix here so where it get translated back to the uh, this line is here now it translated back to the original location by distance 2 so tx is equal to 2 here and ty is equal to 0 right so in this way we need to do the translation uh, in order to reflect that polygon so these are the three steps now in order to multiply them we'll multiply in the reverse order means p3 will get multiplied to t2 t2 will get multiplied to t1 okay so that you will see in the next slide so 
So now we'll multiply T3 into T2 into T1, right? So we'll follow this order T3 into T2 into T1. So same we will note it down all the required parameter that we have discussed in the last lecture. Okay. So we'll do the multiplication for this. So you multiply this into this. So first row into first column, right? So one into minus one. 0 into 0, 2 into 0, so minus 1 here. You can use the calculator, no problem. 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 2 into 0, 0. 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0, 2 into 1, 2. Right? 0 into minus 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 0, 1 into 1, 1, 0 into 0, 0. So, answer is 1. Okay. 0 into 0, 1 into 0, 0 into 1, 0. 0 into minus 1, 0, 0 into 0, 0, 1 into 0, 0. So, the answer is 0. Then, uh, 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0. This thing almost comes out to be 0, 1 homogeneous coordinate, right? So we'll multiply it with the next bracket 1, 0, minus 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? Now we'll find out the transformation matrix for this. So the final answer for this means transformation matrix is equal to T is equal to So just multiply row into column minus 1 into 1 minus 1 0 0 so minus 1 comes here minus 1 into 0 0 into 1 2 into 0 0 minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2 0 into 0, 2 into 2, 4, uh, 2 into 1, 2, so it is 4, sorry for this, the, the next column into next row into column, 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0, this comes out to be 0, then 0 into 0, 1 into 1, 0 into 0, so answer is 1, then this is 1 to number. Then 0 into minus 2, 0, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 0, 0. So the last row should be 0, 0, 1. There is no change in that row. So 0, 0, 1. And then we have got the, this is the transformation matrix. We'll multiply it with the the coordinate of given polygon, right? So coordinates of that given polygon is, I think, uh, minus 1, 0, 1, right? The next uh, one is 2, no, no sorry, it is uh, x is 0, y is minus 2. And this is 1. Then the next point is 1, 0, 0. Next one is uh, 0, minus 2, 1. And this is plus 1, plus 2. Okay. So these are the points. You can check that question. And as per that, you can note down this thing. No issue. So I know what are the parameters. That's why I have noted down. So the final uh, multiplication can be written as, so the final coordinate of that point will be, do the multiplication, minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, 0 into 0, 4 into 4. So minus 1, minus 1, plus 1, and 4 plus 1, 5. Minus 1, next column, minus 1 into 0. Uh, minus 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 2, 0, 4 into 1, 4. So 
सर हियर कम द फोर माइनस वन इंटू वन माइनस वन जीरो इंटू जीरो फोर इंटू वन राइट सो फोर थ्री माइनस वन इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू माइनस टू जीरो इंटू फोर जस्ट आई विच एक माइनस वन इंटू जीरो टू इंटू जीरो फोर राइट माइनस वन इंटू माइनस वन माइनस वन फोर इंटू फोर ठीक नेक्स्ट रो इंटू जीरो इंटू दिस जीरो इंटू माइनस वन जीरो वन इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू वन जीरो जीरो इंटू जीरो वन इंटू टू टू देन जीरो इंटू वन जीरो वन इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू वन जीरो देन जीरो इंटू जीरो वन इंटू माइनस टू माइनस टू एंड द रिमेनिंग ब्रैकेट सर जीरो सॉरी नॉट जीरो इट इज इट शुड बी वन 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 सो राइट दिस इज द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ पी दिस इज द न्यू कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ क्यू दिस इज आर एंड दिस इज एस सो इन दिस वे यू कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट द न्यू कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ द पॉइंट एंड ग्राफिकली यू कैन सी दिस See, P is equal to five zero. So the new coordinate of point P is five zero here. So this is your point P. Q is equal to four two. So this is coordinate Q. Then R is equal to three comma zero. This is R. And uh, the last one is S. So this is how you can see it, and you can verify it graphically. So it is very easy to visualize for you. Okay. So now you can try the same example. You use the same example and try with y is equal to two. Do the same reflection operation and try to find out the new coordinates of PQRS when it is reflected against the line y is equal to two. Y is equal to two line will lie here, here, right? So you can reflect it against the x, translate it to the origin, reflect it against x, and try to find out the coordinates of PQRS. You can. comment your answer in the comment box thank you very much